Welcome everybody to another rendition of Delete Laws. Do me a favor, everybody, before we begin, hit the like button. Take your finger and hit that like button. It's right down there at the bottom. Share the stream, take a copy and link of the stream and send it out to your friend right now, to your best friend, to your cousin, to your boyfriend, to your lover, whoever you have, share the stream. That's how you can help this channel the most is by sharing the stream, making sure people know their rights. It's the most important thing. It's the most important thing. One more big favor I'm going to ask of you, if you could please type in the comment section, OTVO, Overturn Terry versus Ohio. That's what it's about. We, if we don't overturn Terry versus Ohio, we will continue to live in a jackboot thug pig state. OTVO, JBTP, hashtag JBTP, jackboot thug pig. Put it on every single video, JBTP, jackboot thug pig. How many videos did you see today where there's a jackboot thug pig ruining someone's life? So I'm going to show you part of this video because it's so long. DLZ, why don't you cut that down to eight and a half minutes and we'll just, uh, we'll re-air that whole thing because this is an hour and, and like 15 minutes long. So I'm going to share this with you guys and we're going to watch a little bit of it. All right, let's get into this. Let's get into this video that DLZ clips at me. Let's check this out. I hope there's not too much violence in here because I don't want to get, I don't want this, I don't want this stream to be demonetized because I want to make sure that people um, get to watch this really matters to me. So this is from uh, South Arkansas Weather Channel, I suppose. 746 views just two days ago. Wow. So nobody's really seen this. This is this is an undiscovered video. Only two comments. Wow. DLZ Clips, drop the link for this on the YouTube page, on your YouTube page, on my YouTube page, and drop it into the group chat here. Hampton, Arkansas, police officer Davis. Okay, well, let's watch a little bit of this and see where it goes. So the body cam, there it is. So just so you know, unless they cut that off, the first 30 seconds is supposed to be just blank screen. And then, of course, it looks like he's got a blue line tattoo on his arm. See that right there? Is that not a blue stripe tattoo? I believe that is a blue stripe tattoo. So we know right off the bat this is a jackboot thug pig. Hey. This is hey, only, how are you doing? This is 10 minutes, you guys. This I'm is 10 tired, minutes. So I'm just sitting here. So I'm doing pretty good. I know. I'm eating fun whenever you get what I'm doing. You, you, you said what? You flashlight on my eyes. Thanks for doing it. So, so once again, the jackboot thug pig is shining his light in his eyes. I tell you what, I don't tolerate that. I was wondering if when you were still come see me, I talk really well, right? And my friends hate it. I hate it. It's always really strange. If you can't hear me, just don't feel bad about saying or whatever. It's how I talk. I'm trying to talk better. <laughs> the hardest habit to break, I swear. Oh. Let, let's see if we can. Okay, so she says here, I'm just going to read these for people who can't hear it because I can't hear it. Good. I know whenever you flash, you flashing, you flashlight on my eyes. I'm sorry. So she says she appreciates that he takes the light out of her eyes. So that this light, I'm sorry, but I was wondering if when you were still come see me, I talk really well, right? And my friends hate it, I hate it, it's all good. She says she talks really low, and she hates it that she talks really low. That's why we can't hear her. If you can't hear me, just don't feel bad about saying or whatever. It's how I talk. I'm trying to talk better. <laughs> the hardest habit to break, I swear. Okay. I was wondering when you were going to come give me a shout. Uh, we just got a call in for a welfare concern. I was coming to check on you. Okay, so if he's concerned about her coming to check on her, he now knows she's okay. He can leave, but he doesn't. Yeah, you've been up here for a little while, just sitting in your car and, and just checking on you. The right tags, like they know that people should know that and think, okay, let's keep I drove a long way, like, I'm tired, and like, I keep stopping every time I get tired and just chill out, because, I don't know. What is that? What, what? In your hand. 
pencil. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I was just wondering it. I didn't realize it was in my hand. I was like, what's that in my hand? Okay. Do you have your ID on you? <laughs> no. So yeah. right there. Right there. So do you have ID on you? Now you guys are seeing why I created the trifold and the 5A cop card. So this right here, it says right there, I don't have to give my ID unless there's probable cause. She's not driving a vehicle. That means she's a non-driver. You don't have to give your ID. This is why I created the 5A cop card so that you don't get caught up thinking you got to give some jackboot thug pig your identification when you don't. Yes, yes. Can I say it, please? So he says, can I have some ID? <laughs> no, yes, yes. Can I say it, please? I forgot, I forgot. I forgot. State trooper got me over. But I got, he, he was pulling us away. He was letting go. I just got a ticket for not having my driver's license. So it was like behind, his thing so old, it was behind us the whole time. <laughs> it was my son's picture. Like, it's crazy. Mm. Mm -hmm. I, I actually want you to run more and shit because that, I mean I do. Okay. Yeah. Well, that I mean. Especially in Arkansas, we do Louisiana too. Oh, if they have it in our city. She clearly doesn't know her rights. The moment he walked up, she should have put the trifold or the Fifth Amendment cop card in her in his face and said, "I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent." That's your job. Invoke your rights. In the system, and yeah. If they have it in the What's system. The, um, what do you mean? Uh, it just depends if they want to come and get you or whatever. It, I if said, you what's do. The of that ain't gonna do that. Uh, I don't know Louisiana. Hey, huh, huh. Um, Arkansas. Arkansas just depends on what the charge is. Uh, if it's just a little misdemeanor, three same. years. It's always the same, isn't it? No, it depends on what the charge is. I'm just messing with you. Mm -hmm. I'm just messing with you. No, actually, I want to see what that 24. Go ahead. I wish you would stop talking. Can you repeat the license number, please? License number is Edward John 9 Paul 6 John. It's going to be out of Missouri. I have a Kansas 2930. Why would she give a jackboot thug pig her ID when there's no probable cause and she's not driving? One ready? It's just poli police code. And then the license wasn't coming in exactly clear, so I'm sorry, could you repeat it one more time? Right. <sighs> They're getting. It's going to be Edward, John, 9, Paul, 6, John, repeating Edward, John, 9, Paul, 6, John. Thank you, 24, SO. I have a 2930 by number out of Kansas. It's going to be King 04068002, repeating King 04068002. I Zero six eight zero zero two. Negative. It's going to be King at the beginning. King. Repeating entire DL number. It's going to be King zero four zero six eight zero zero two. And she's just sitting there letting this guy waste her time. 
No, oh, my radio's just not getting out good. So you're not allowed to just sit there in Hampton, Arkansas? You can't just sit there and just relax in the... It looks like she's in a car wash. She's just sitting there minding her own business, but she's not allowed to do that. Like in and out. Wait a minute. How do you find those on these rental cars? Uh... Stand by. Stand by for what? Like, so you That's your rental car paperwork? Yeah. Is that going to help you out? Or do you just want to look at it? I'm just, I'm just looking at it. I don't think nobody get it well, but shame. Because that's what you, they all talk. They don't have something to say. They don't have no reason to pull somebody over. That I no, no you're, you're at a business. That's a rumor. Like, that's the rumor, yeah. though. Is that true? You're at a business for know, a I long period of time. And, and, yeah. He's cool with it. Like, he's cool with it. Yeah. Unless, oh, is he the one that I just, I just have to do is what I... Is he the one that called? Mm -hmm. He was? Mm -hmm. H hold on a second. So listen to what he says. His reasonable articulable suspicion is that she's at a 24 hour business. That's a car wash. And that makes him suspicious. She's not allowed to sit at a business. This isn't loitering. This isn't a government facility at a business. You're at a business. No, you're, you're at a business. Like that's the rumor. Is that true? You're at a business for a long period of time. So she said, you just come over here and say it's a welfare check. And the rumor is that you just do that for a reason to stop people. And then he creates a reason besides a welfare check as to why he's there, that she's at a business. So that get, makes him suspicious. What a piece of shit. I'm just looking at it. I don't think nobody get a welfare check. That's what they all talk. I think nobody get a welfare check, is what she says. It's hard to understand her. They don't have something to say. They don't have something they don't to say. No to they don't have a reason to pull someone over. No, you're, you're at a business. The oh, the rumor is, is that they pull people over and say it's a welfare check. That's a fact, honey. Don't hide the truth. Just say it. Like, that's the rumor, yeah. though. Is that true? You're at a business know, for a long talk, period of time. I just I just have to do what I mm -hmm. he was. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I'd like to see the CAD report on that. I'd like to know if the business owner called the police on her, because if he called the police on her, then it's not a welfare check, is it? OK, see, that's that's what I'm just you concerned about. You. That's why I don't like oh, he wasn't what a liar. He's not concerned about her. He's trying to find a reason why he can arrest her. You lying jackboot thug pig. Sorry. He, he was. Wasn't sorry. He, no, he wasn't. Huh? And now she's disagreeing with him and she's still talking. Are you under the influence of anything? No. And now now she's going to answer questions. Because oh, you're slurring a lot. I get wasted, I'm telling you. She already said she talks low. She started off by saying she... You don't talk to cops. Listen to this pig. God, my blood is boiling. See, that you're sleepy? Yes. You don't slur that much when you're sleepy. Who the fuck knows when I slur how much I slur if I'm sleepy? Really? <laughs> Finally, a little defiance from her instead of saying that's the rumor. Hey, well, don't I'm, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. I'm I'm... No, you're not just asking. He's not just asking. That is not true. Why do you think right on the trifold for, for biggest thing is I invoke my right to remain silent? Why do you think that's there? Don't ask me where I'm going, where I'm coming from, where I've been, if I've been drinking, if I have a gun. Why do you think that says it? Why do you think it's there? I put this like this for you. I did this for you so that you invoke your Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. You don't talk to these jackboot thug pigs. He's gone around and around. It's a welfare check. No, the owner of the business called. I'm just here to check on you. Which is it, pig? Which is it? If this woman had my trifold or she had the 5A cop card and I saw this on video, I'd be finding a lawyer in Arkansas to file that federal civil rights lawsuit. Jackboot thug pig. You were right, DLZ Clips. My blood is just boiling right now. I'm just freaking hot. I'm, I'm not. I'm have I, have I raised my voice? I'm raising mine and I should stop right now. I should stop right now. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm bad habit. But you're escalating it into something that's I know, not. I I oh, really? She's escalating it? You've lied three or four times now so far, pig. I was just asking questions. Yeah, you don't have a right to question me without my attorney present. And if you do, you violate my Fifth Amendment right if you invoke it. Why are you telling him about your grandma? 
Don't tell him a damn thing about your life. I'm late. I can get back. Asking questions. I'm just very fun here. Just to, well, no, I'm here to help my grandmother. Like, my grandmother, I'm bringing her back up anyway, but I'm late. I can get back. Oh. I'm just trying to. I'm like, I don't know. I'm just going to go at my own pace. Trying to freaking act. Um, so, no, I just don't, I just this don't like to split my memory. I'm talking to me like, you were just messing with people. And after living up there, it just, it was me, like, Where did you get pulled over at, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> I'm, I'm just wondering, was it here in Arkansas? I don't know. No, the name was there, mm -hmm. actually. Is um, that where you get? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's where, Arkansas. I have nothing to hide. Wait, it's nothing. Arkansas. Boone County, Harrison City, so speeding funny. more than 15. Boone County, Arkansas. Is that your job, to show people around? Like, come over there? What do they tell you to do? What do you mean? Like, I'm just really curious. I really am curious. I'm not, like, talking shit. I'm wow, so she's asking him, what's your job? Like I always say, what's a cop's job? In Boone County, Arkansas, Harrison City. Is that your job? To show, to show people around? Like, come over there. What do they tell you to do? What do you, what do you mean? Like, I'm just really curious. I really am curious. I'm not, like, talking shit. I'm really not talking shit. No, you should talk shit. I'm just very, very curious. I've always wanted to know I'm a law enforcement. I'm a law enforcement. No, he's not a law enforcement officer. He's a peace officer. He's not a law enforcer. None of them go to law enforcement school. None of them. Enforcement officer. No, you're not, Jackboot Thug Pig. Yeah, I'm also. Uh, How old are you? 26. <laughs> I've been she, doing it. She laughed when he said he was 26. Let's see how long he's been being a pig. For about five years now, though. So he started at, at 21. 21 year old kid walks up to me wearing a badge. I'm gonna tell him to go home. Go get the green from behind his ears. I get it. Like, you probably are great at what you do. I just so. Great at what you do? Boy, this woman is delusional. I should, it's respect. I just need to show more respect. I'm so sorry. So I just need to show more respect? No, you don't. He's violating you. He's trying to arrest you. Let me go use my car radio real quick. I'll be right back, okay? 24 SO. Did you copy that traffic? Registration is valid. Status, I'm sorry, is valid. So her registration's valid. Her driver's license is valid. Expires on 425-2026. So her registration's valid. Her insurance is valid. Uh, 10.52. So at this point, the jackboot thug pig should leave her alone. Ten four. Do you need me to repeat that ten twenty eight? Okay, let's jump. Let's jump ahead to thirty three minutes right here. Yeah, she probably will refuse it. I don't think it's alcohol. Oh, so he's just assuming she's on drugs. Uh, welfare concern up here at the car wash. Oh, I thought that the owner of the car wash called in and said that there was someone sitting in his business. He lied. Uh, the car wash owner stopped me. So which is it? Checking on her for her safety or it's a criminal complaint? Which is it? <laughs> See if you can possibly talk her into doing these tests so i can ease my mind a little bit but oh bullshit dude you're trying to take her make her take tests to arrest her don't lie you jackboot thug pig you're not trying to ease your mind you're trying to arrest somebody but i don't i don't know what else to do because i i don't want to take her and she's not high she might be telling me the truth but i don't want to take her kidnap her you mean Uh, this is number seven nine eight twenty three twenty three. Okay. All right. What are you trying to do? Why does that matter? Because I don't like that. What are you trying to well, do? Why are you so paranoid about it? Because I hate. What are you talking about? You're a jackboot thug pig. Because I get it. I know. Like. Okay. I told you that earlier, but you don't know when anybody's gonna trust me. You're not talking about me. Like, no, it's not signing the ball too, so don't. 
He's seven years old. Okay. <laughs> so, don't pretend like anything about me is anything. Because I'm just one, I'm just his mother. And it's fuck going nuts. For real. I got hell on So, this is my entertainment. I had my my vacation. And I just said I'm going to be whatever I want, I want to be. So I'm just going to get my car and go. And, or whatever. No, go. I not. want to actually wash it. I really did want to wash it. Yeah. But I don't you're like being bugged. I don't want you to bug me. Like, you're not leaving. You to... I don't want you to bug me. Fair enough. Until you're free to leave, okay? What does that mean? Until, I'm pretty, I, am I until being arrested? I... No. Then I can leave. No, but you're lawfully, I can't. Oh, I can you're lawfully detained. If you leave, I'll Lawfully I'll... detained for what? Put you out. Please. I will put you in a dash. Be the asshole and do that. Okay. You know that'd be the wrong Oh, so he called, she called him an asshole, so now he's insulted. Right. You really gonna do that? Right. Over freaking. Nope. Nope. Really? Nope. You put really him got... Put him behind your you back. You are. Put him behind your wow. back. Wow. Put him behind your back. Wow. Then put him behind your back. Wow. Then put your hand. Hey, I will. Let me go my arm. What are you crazy? Hands behind oh your back. Stop. Hands behind your back. Oh my God. Stop hands behind it. your okay, back. I will, but stop now. doing that. Okay? Don't hurt me. Hands behind your back. Oh my God. Fucking ass. Man, stop hurting me! You're and hurting me. Fuck no, man! You're hurting my arm. Quit, quit! Stop. What do you think stop. you're doing? Wow. I'm a woman who's done nothing. Like, are and you serious right so now? So that that clicking sound is he put cuffs on one of her arms, and she's done. She doesn't look drunk or impaired to me. Look at her eyes, clear as day. And behind stop your back. Stop working. And behind your back. I'm angry too. Okay, you're okay, angry. Be I'm angry. angry. Be well, angry. No, no. He called. She called him an asshole, and so she thinks he's angry, and she's right. And now she's angry. You arrest me. I, that's not fair. You got that uh, top. You got that card. You playing that card. I ain't do nothing, man. You know it. And you trying to put me in handcuffs? Hand behind your back. You know how scary handcuffs Hands are? Hand behind your back. Exactly. Exactly. You know how scary handcuffs are? Hands behind your back. Now you have to be shackled like a pig? Imagine being handcuffed, man. Hands behind your back. You lose your freedom? Hands behind Losing your freedom. She's exactly correct. She's saying everything right. Behind your back. Like, this is the most... Stop. Oh, oh my god. Power, Stop. Yeah, wow. Man. For sitting in a in a in a car wash. Then stop. Then stop. Then stop. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop. 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 I am. Let me put your other hand behind your back. Other hand behind your back. Behind your back. Do that hurts. Oh, don't, don't do that. That hurts. Please, 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 please. Okay, you got one more chance, okay. and I'm putting you Wow. Right. Please, 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 please. That hurts. And he says, you got one more chance, and I'm going to put you on the ground. God damn. Uh, don't do that. That hurts. Please, 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 please. Okay, you got one more chance, and I'm putting you on the ground. God damn. You have to agree with your oppressor that you'll be oppressed. And this was only July 14th, 2023. Oh, it is. This is what happens when you're angry around 5-0. This is what happens when you're angry around 5-0. You're angry at a cop. He gets to torture you. Wow. What a psycho. Yeah, but then you make threats of fleeing from me. I didn't make a police officer. You just made threats of fleeing from me, so come on. Just made a threat to flee. She said she wanted to leave. He turns it into a threat to flee. Come on. Zero, you know, hey, look at me for Come a second. On. Look at, look at, look at. I've looked at you long hey, no, enough. Oh, really? So you've been in the gift this whole time? I'm not detaining you because I did nothing wrong. Oh, you'll put me in the back because you're, okay. This is who you are? This is who, yeah, really thought, that, that's, that's who he is, honey. She was about something, man. I really did. I'm, not, I mean, I'm scared. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy. I'm, I can't go nowhere. I can't feel sorry. I'm not, I can't, I'm That doesn't mean anything. You got legs, don't I can't you? breathe when I get close to the door. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll turn the air on. Nobody wants to be put in a claustrophobic little area shackled like a pig and then they strap you in in a in a cage with bars and this man's kidnapped her so you can and i'll roll down the window Here. i'll roll down the window get in the car i'm a human get in the car dude she, he doesn't care about you in the car in the car in the car he's being a jackboot thug pig in the car oh honey oh honey honey you this video is going to blow up. This video is going to blow up. As as soon as other auditors see this video, this video is going to go viral. I, I think Brian over here is the deal.
could recut this into a proper story and this video is going to get hundreds of thousands of views, if not millions. This is absolute tyranny. She's sitting in a gas station parking lot, minding her in a car wash parking lot, minding her own business. He started off saying it was a welfare check. And now he's got her in torture cuffs and she's begging. Why are you doing this to me? This is horrible. This is who you are. This is terrible. Yeah, this is who, this is who he is. What are you doing with me? In the car. I can't breathe like that. I, I, uh, I really can't. I have anxiety. Okay. I'm fucking tired. Okay. Well. I can't breathe like that. Good. So, I'll, roll I'll, I'll, the I'll, I'll roll the window down. I'll roll the window down. Scoot me. Really scoot in. Kind of scoot in. I thought she was fucking cool. No, he's a piece of shit, Oh, honey. you better not. Scoot in. I'm not All the way. Rest you need to take All the way. My arm, you, like, jerk my arm. I'm texting a couple people. <laughs> people have to know about this. Okay, let's take a pause right here real quick. Why'd you oh, do let's that? keep going. Why'd you do that, man? That's what I'm catching at. 24 SO. Show one detained. And now is he going to illegally search her car? She left her door open. She didn't lock the door. What does the 5A cop card say? Exit and lock the door. She didn't lock her door. And now he's going to illegally search her car. Bro, you're about to get sued. Hampton, Arkansas, Officer Davis, you're about to get sued, bro. Listen to him whistling, humming, so happy. <laughs> what a piece of shit. Let me share with you guys the Facebook page here. Here's the link to the Facebook page right here. Uh, DLZ Clips put this on the YouTube page as well. We're going to give a call over there right now. I hope this woman finds me because I'm gonna help her sue these jackboot thug pigs. I'm gonna help her sue. She's gonna sue these pigs. So here's the, here's, here's, here that is. And let's just go ahead and give a call over there to this jackboot thug pig police department because we're not gonna tolerate this. I'm gonna help her sue. That's what I'm gonna do. Here's the police foreman. It's Mabel. Mabel, is who's the lieutenant or the the person in charge right now at the police department? Um, I have Corporal Vandergriff. How can I help you? I'd like to talk to Corporal Van. Well, I'm trying to avoid suing you guys, but and okay. what do you need to talk with him about? Well, it's none of your business. I need to talk to him. Give me just a moment. Yeah. I'll try and get a hold of him. Yeah, I'll wait. I'm sure. I'm gonna, someone look up this little little shitty town and see how big it is real quick. Let's see. Let's see who their city council members are. Let's start doing a little research here. I got their Facebook page. So they have four followers on their Facebook page, huh? Let, here's their Facebook page. Let's blow, let, let's let them know on their Facebook page that we're going to redress government here. Okay, give me just a second. I'm trying to. Do you know, do you know this pig who did have... this? Do you know the pig who did this? Who is this pig? What's his name? What's that pig's name? Do you, can you tell me a general idea of what this is about? Oh, yeah. You arrested a woman on July 13th who was sitting in a in a car wash, and I'm a constitutional law scholar. I sue lots of pigs all over the country, and you guys are about to get sued. What the hell's wrong with people? She's allowed to sit in a, in a car wash. If the owner doesn't want her there, he can ask her to leave. But I'll tell you what, that pig's going to get sued in his individual capacity. I'm going to put his name at the top of Google. I want people to know he's a jackboot thug okay, pig. Okay, are you still there? Of course I'm still here. You can hear me. Okay, stay on the line, and I'll transfer you to my officer. Yeah, I'll wait. So that's 13,000. I got that population right here. Thanks for telling me. You don't say put the population up there. Let's let's file a federal civil rights lawsuit against this police Hello. department. Who am I speaking with, sir? Corporal Vandergriff, Harrison Police. Who is this? My name is Chili DeCastro. I'm a nationally known journalist. All my calls are recorded. And what I do is I find videos on the Internet where police violate people's rights. And then I sue that police department. You, you guys arrested a woman on, okay, on July 13th. That. Good luck with that. Is that what you just said to me? And then he hung up. Good luck with that. Okay. Let's have good luck with it. Here's the police department. This is Mabel. Why'd he hang up on me, Mabel? 
Okay, I'm not sure, sir. So you'll have to call back tomorrow and speak with our chief of police. How many cops are in that department? You'll have to call back tomorrow and speak with our chief of police. What's the name of the chief of police there? His name is Chief Grady. See, Chief Grady may not understand. It's all fine and dandy, but the people who write the checks, they really don't like lawsuits. Sir, you can contact the Harrison Police Department between 8 and 5 tomorrow and speak with Chief Grady. Oh, so you endorse this behavior? Have you seen the video? You can contact us tomorrow between 8 and 5. Have you seen the video? Have you seen what they did to this woman? Thank you. Have a good night. Yeah. Okay, we have more Facebook pages to look up here. Thank you, Colin, over at DLZ Clips. Make sure you guys get over there and subscribe to the backup channel. Colin's putting in some good work. So here is the city of Harrison. Here they are right here. Way to go, Colin, at DLZ Clips. There's phone numbers here. Oh, my goodness. They have their phone numbers listed. They have their phone numbers listed. Let's go ahead and redress our government. I have every right to redress government. I'm going to redress these people. I'm going to call them right now. I'm going to redress them. We're going to start with Alderman Willie Fricks. Remind me, Nicholas, to give you information about I want you to, a couple things I want you to file. I guess Willie's not going to answer. We're going to call, we call Willie first. We're going to leave him a message though and let him know because I will find a lawyer in Arkansas who will sue for this woman and we will sue them. I'll fund the lawsuit. I'll crowdfund it and we'll sue their asses. Hey, special ed. What's going on, buddy? No answer. Okay. Let's call the next one on the list here. I'm going down to Lily, Lily Randall, Lily, 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 Lily. We're going to be giving you a call, Lily. I, I want to find the woman who got arrested. Actually, DLZ Clips made a short about this the other day. It bombed, so I took it back down. I'm going to put it back up again tomorrow. That's not how it works, uh, Julian. That's not how it works. Nicholas? Is this Lily Randall? Yeah. Lily, my name is Chili DeCastro. I'm a nationally known journalist and activist, and I just watched an arrest done in your town that's going to get you guys a federal civil rights lawsuit. I sue lots of police departments around the country, and I'm going to sue you guys next. Now, there's ways we can avoid that, because what I do is I call up and I, I, I redress government. All my calls are recorded. Yeah, they arrested that woman at the wrong time. I, they arrested that woman. Your number's on the Internet. You're listed as a city council member. You're supposed to serve the public. I'm not trying to bother you. I'm trying to avoid a federal civil rights lawsuit. Do you know about the arrest on July 13th? By Officer, Har by Officer Harris? Okay. No problem. She hung up. Okay. No problem. No problem. You don't want to do that? We're going to call Nikki next. I'm just redressing government. Their numbers are listed for redress. I'm calling each and every one of them. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm in no way, shape, or form breaking any law. What was that pig's name who did that to her? Officer Davis. I had an Officer Davis where I grew up on a peninsula. Officer Davis at the Hampton, Arkansas Police Department. I wonder if this one's going to answer. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. 8708310508 is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Miss Powers, my name is Chili DeCastro. I have a fairly popular YouTube channel called Delete Laws. That's Delete Laws with a Z. I'm recording this conversation. Everything I do is transparent and live. I sue lots of police around the country, and I'm about to sue you guys. I'm about to, well, I, I say that so liberally. What I mean is I'm about to help a woman sue you. On July 13th of 2023, uh, 
the pig named Davis. I'm sorry, it was July 14th of 2023. You can see it on his body cam footage. He went to do a welfare check on a woman in a, in a car wash parking lot. First, he said he was doing a welfare check. Then he said it was criminal activity because the owner had complained. But then he said, oh, I'm just doing a welfare check. And then he put her in torture cuffs and he arrested her. So I'm calling to head off a lawsuit because Davis needs to be suspended for a month without pay and every other pig on site needs to be as well. And if you don't, I'm going to sue you. I'm going to sue you anyway. I'm going to help her sue you anyway because I don't have a bar card in Arkansas. So I'll find an Arkansas lawyer and I will sue you. And it's all ha ha fun and games, but it comes out of your city budget, which is listed right here. It's right here on your web page. So that means if I do sue you, you your city budget's going to skyrocket because just to defend my lawsuit will cost you $50,000 minimum, minimum. If I sound like I'm a little upset, Miss Powers, it's because I am. I'm furious. So if you go to my live stream tonight, dated today, I believe it's September 29th or September 30th. If you go to my live stream and you go to, to two hours and 23 minutes in, you'll see me leaving you this voicemail and you'll see that I'm saying in front of thousands and thousands of people that I will sue you, that I will help someone sue you, that I will fund the lawyer that sues you, that I will help write, file that, and file that federal civil rights lawsuit. I will help. I will help and I will sue you. Anyway, I'm sure my number showed up. You're more than welcome to call me back, Ms. Powers. These pigs need to be suspended without pay. And that pig who arrested her needs to be fired. He said in the radio, no, she's not impaired. Officer Davis is a pig. He said in the radio to dispatch, no, she's not impaired. I'm having a hard time with this one. I can't figure it out. Then he went back to illegally detain her. And she said, I'm going to leave if you're not detained. He said, no, no, you're detained. He said, she said, you're being an asshole. Then he put her in torture cuffs. Then he arrested her. Another pig showed up and backed him up. You guys are going to be sued. And I'm going to list every one of those pigs' names in a federal civil rights lawsuit, and they're going to be at the top of Google. You're about to be redressed on your Facebook page. You think I'm the only one that's going to call you? There's going to be 100 people that call you. You are a government official. We have the right to redress you. You put your contact information online. I'm redressing you now, Ms. Powers. Can't wait to talk to you again. I doubt it. You're, you're kind of probably going to be a coward. All good. So let's go to Joan. Let's give Joan a call. Let's see what Joan has to say. Let's see if she's going to, if she's just going to hang up. You know, wasn't that woman arrested when she didn't want to be arrested? So it's, it's 10 o'clock at night. They can't take a phone call. Hello. Is this Joan? Yeah. Hi, Joan. How are you doing tonight? I'm fine. My name is Chili DeCastro. I'm a national known journalist and activist. All my calls are recorded and what I do specifically, Joan, just so you know, is people send me their videos from around the country. I'm a really popular guy on the Internet with millions and millions of views every day on my videos. And the reason why I'm so popular is because what I do is when I see the video of police abusing or violating people's rights, I sue that county. I sue that, that department. I sue the district, the borough, the municipality. I sue people. I got five active lawsuits now, and I think I'm going to sue you guys. So... I'm just going to let you know that. I got nothing against you personally, but I'm going to sue you guys probably for $5 million. So oh, I'd like... Good, good. Really? So is the, go is the government a tyrannical government there? They're so used to being tyrannous. They're so used to being a tyrannical group of jackboot thug pigs. You hear that? The cop on the phone said, oh, good. They don't give a damn about you and me. They don't care. Calling Jonathan Lucas now. Let's call Jonathan Lucas next. If you're just getting here, reverse the tape a little bit. Reverse the video and take a look at what happened to this woman on July 14th by officer, by, by the pig Davis. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your... Mr. Lucas? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to catch you asleep, sir. How you doing? I, I'm I apologize if you were sleeping. Yeah. Who is this? My name is Chili DeCastro. I'm a nationally known activist and journalist. All my calls are recorded. I just watched a video from Officer Davis of the Harrison County or the Hampton, Arkansas Police Department. And mm -hmm. specifically what I do, sir, is I see these videos of police abuse and then I sue those people. And I, I don't, oh, another one. Hmm. 
As soon as they hear they're going to get sued, they just hang up. Okay, let's give John a call. We're, we're giving John Nivens a call right now. I have every right to redress them. I have every right to call them. I hope you guys go to their Facebook page. Hey, is this uh, Mr. Nivens? It is. Mr. Nivens, my name is Chili De Castro. I'm a nationally known journalist and activist. All my calls are recorded, and typically the reason why people contact me is when there's been some sort of tyrannical move done by the government in a particular area of the state of the country. And then what I do is I crowdfund their lawsuit and I sue you guys. So I don't want to do that. I'm calling you to see if we can resolve this without me having to file a federal civil rights lawsuit against Officer Davis of the Hampton, Arkansas Police Department. Are you aware of the illegal arrest on July 14th, 2023 at the car wash? I am not. So I'd be more than willing to send you a video that shows the wrongful arrest. I would really rather not spend all my time suing you guys. I would rather there were good people in government that fired that cop and fired the guy who helped her, helped him arrest this woman wrongfully. The video is plain as day, sir. The video, I have nothing against you personally. I have no venom for you. I have no curse words for you. I have no anger for you. I don't know you. I'm very angry about watching Officer Davis arrest a woman who had went to, to Hampton, Arkansas to help her grandmother who was surviving a stroke. My mother had a stroke in 2020, and we couldn't see her in the hospital because of COVID. So I'm hoping that we can get somewhere here, Mr. Nivens. Mr. Nivens? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, the appropriate place for this would be in a city council meeting and talking with a lawyer, first of all. Calling me at 11 o'clock at night on a personal phone is not the appropriate venue for this. I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you, sir, but when they arrested that woman on July 14th, it was in the middle of the night. She was sitting in a car wash. She was trying to get home to take care of her grandma, so it was a real inconvenience for her to be handcuffed and taken away to a jail. It was a real inconvenience. So if you're slightly inconvenienced right now, I'm sorry, but it's one hundred thousandth of a percentage of what happened to this woman on camera. Can I just leave you a voicemail or shoot you a text message and let you know where you can watch this video? Or is there an email address I can send it over to you and I'll, I'll, I'll get off the phone with you? I'm sorry for waking you up if I did. No, the, like I said, the appropriate venue for this is going to be in a city council meeting where we handle all the city business. No action takes place outside of those meetings. Oh, during during minutes, during recorded minutes? Is that what you're saying? Exactly. Okay. I'm just really, really upset. And, you know, tens of thousands of people watch my content. And so you're going to get a lot of redressing over the next few days. People are really mad. This video is really bad. He clears, He clearly states to dispatch that he knows she's not impaired and then puts her in torture cuffs and arrests her and says she's impaired. Which is it? So I get it. You can't say anything else, Mr. Nibbins. Like I said, I got no venom for you. If you know, I don't want to inconvenience you any further. I just want you to realize that I am about to help this woman file a federal civil rights lawsuit. I would rather not. I would rather you guys fired that pig and you guys settled with her out of court. That's what I wish could happen. But you guys would have to admit that you guys did something wrong. So I know you can't comment on it, but I just that's what I would prefer happened because I sue lots of cops all over the country. The name of my channel on YouTube is called Delete Laws. And if you go two hours into my last live stream, you're going to see that I'm not joking. I'm, it'll cost you guys at least $50,000 to defend my lawsuit. So if we can settle out of court, it'd be a lot easier. I know you can't make a deal with me. I'm just explaining the process because I do this all the time. So is that it? Did you hang up, Mr. Nivens? I think. No, I'm still here. Oh, I, th have a good I thought you hung up. I Everybody else has hung up on me. At least you at least you had the decency to have a conversation, even though it's, it's late. I apologize. It's so late. I'm on the West Coast. Like I said, this is the first time I have gotten a conversation of this nature. Normally, everything goes through our, uh, our council. Sure. So we have a lawyer on retainer to handle stuff like this. Who, who is the city? Who is the attorney over there so I can contact the city attorney and give him a notice of intent to sue? Uh, last name is Stone. 
Okay. Is there a... He, he's out of El Dorado, Arkansas. Out of El Dorado, Arkansas. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you guys are a pretty tiny town. I'm from the same kind of small town. I'm from a town of 2,000 people as well. So I really understand the politics of small towns. And what Officer Davis did was so unacceptable that I'm going to have to step in and help out. It was so unacceptable. If that was your daughter or your sister or your niece, you would be incensed when you see this video. It's unbelievable what they did to her. She's begging, crying, saying, please don't do this to me. And they did it anyway. It was horrible to watch. That's why I'm so angry. It's why I called. I didn't mean to call so late. I'm so sorry. I apologize to you, sir. I, I know it's on the East Coast, but that woman was big time inconvenienced. So I just, I figure a little inconvenience for you and me is, you know, just a thousandth millionth of a percentage of what she went through that night. Do they do strip searches there when you go to jail? Do you get strip searched? I have no idea. Oh, never been in cuffs, never been arrested? Nope. Wow. You only got to be putting those torture cuffs one time, and then you go, wow, I guess I do understand this guy's perspective. You only got to be have your arm shackled behind your back one time, and then they put them on a little tight just once, and then you will forever be uh, an advocate for changing torture cuffs into straps that we can easily strap people up, you know? So you, you sleeping, though? I didn't mean to catch you sleeping. All right, bud. Have a good night. But like I said, yeah, contact the uh, the council. His name's Stone. He's out of El Dorado. He'd be the appropriate person to talk to about that and address it in the council meeting. When is that? Uh, council meeting will be first Monday of every month. Okay, so you're coming up pretty quick here. First Monday in October is going to be October 2nd. Okay, it'll probably be after that then. It's usually the first Monday of the first full week of the month. It actually is the first full week. Sunday's the first, and then Saturday's the seventh. So you think it's going to be the ninth, though, or is it just kind of? Uh, it'll probably be the ninth. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, but you, you, you can contact the, uh, the city clerk. She can give you the exact date, but normally it's the first Monday of the first full week, so that should be the ninth. Okay. Mr. Nivens, I really hope that you remember this and you t take a look at that video. If you want to know the channel that the whole video on is on without me interrupting, the channel is going to be uh, the Hampton, Arkansas. Um, it's going to be South Arkansas Weather. That's the name of the channel, South Ark Weather. If you want to watch the video on there, it was posted three days ago. And one of my people sent this to me. And I, I as soon as I saw it, I said, I'll help her sue. Because this is so egregious. But yeah, I'm just hoping I can find a council member who brings this up in chambers and then says, I watched the video. This was totally wrong. And he needs to be fired. You know, it, 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 it's just so bad. If it happened to your daughter, Mr. Nivens, you would come undone. She was just resting at the car wash. What, what's, what car wash is that in, in uh, Harrison? In Harrison, you have your own count on that. This is, we, this is not Harrison. Hampton, is that what it is? Oh, this was an outdoor car wash that looked like it was 24 hours. We, we have multiple. There are none that are 24 hours, and we have several of them that have posted signs saying no loitering. Right, but the cop walked up, uh, the Davis walked up and said he was doing a welfare check at first. And then when she complied and gave ID and everything else, he just kept escalating and escalating and escalating to the point where someone like me is willing to take, to sue you guys, it takes 100 hours of my time. So... But that's what has to happen if I, I'm praying and hoping, Mr. Nivens, that, that a good person will see this and you guys will address it in city council. It's well, a, yeah, this contact will be discussed in council, I'm sure. Okay. It's South Arkansas Weather is the name of the channel. It's Sar South and then A-R-K. The full word South and then A-R-K and then Weather. That's the name of the channel if you want to take a look at the channel that posted this video three days ago and where I saw it, Mr. Nivens. That's that's just where I saw it. So if you want to find that, the name of my channel is called Delete Laws. So if you want to look at my channel, you're welcome to. And then you'll see that I actually do sue lots of police all around the country. I what I do is I help them sue. I raise the money, and then I I fund the lawsuit, and then I follow it through with the lawyer, and that's the steps I take. Castro, by chance, did you do any research on me before you cold called me? Oh, your name is number is listed on a government website, and. I, I didn't. Were you a former cop? No. What did you do before this, Mr. Nivens, that I would need to do research on you? All right, 
Mr. Castro. Let's have a good night. Oh, there's there was nothing. Should I research you a little bit? Is there was there something a secret or something I didn't know about? I'll research you now. I got thousands of people who watch my channel, so I'll I'll research you now if you want me to. I just don't know what you're talking about exactly. Good. Good. Okay. <laughs> you seem like a nice guy to me, though. You seem like a good guy. So I'm hoping that someone like you will see this and realize that this is tyranny and they fire that Davis cop. Terrible. And the other guy who, who backed her up should be suspended for a month without pay at least. He helped kidnap her. Just remember, just think about it as your niece or your daughter and then watch that video again. Have a good night, Mr. Castro. You got to go? Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't mean to take up too much of your time. I hope I didn't offend you in any way. No, not at all. Okay. I mean, just so you know, by tomorrow... There's going to be a lot of people who see this. So I just want to let you know that, okay? I'm not trying to harass you in any way, shape, or form. I'm just trying to redress fairly and properly and respectfully. Respectfully and firmly, you're doing a good job of. Uh, you're trying to influence me, which... Uh... The video. I want the video to influence you. I don't want to influence you. I'm just, I'm just saying that I will help her sue. I'm letting you know there's a carrot and a stick here. You know, the, the stick is that when you guys get sued, I, I'm looking at your budget right here. It's, it's right here on the, on the city council page. So your budget will exponentially increase if I file a federal civil rights lawsuit against you guys. Exponentially. Because you have to hire outside counsel. You don't have counsel there. You'll have to hire somebody to, to defend the lawsuit. And I don't want to do that to the people who pay taxes there. It, Davis should simply be fired. He radioed in. She's not impaired. And then he arrested her for being impaired. And she wasn't. She gets out of the car. Her eyes are laser beams. She's sober. She's there taking care of her sick grandma who had a stroke. I mean, I'm hoping that for the love of God, we find a good person. Oh, South Arkansas weather right now. It just hit me up. The guy who put the video online. South Ark weather. I'm just trying to get you to do the right thing. That's all. I'm not, I'm just trying to show you the light, you know, and, and I don't want to spend my time helping some woman in Arkansas sue you guys. It's not what I want to do with my time. I have other things to do. But for the love of God, we need some good city council members who see this and they stand up. I realize Davis brings in a lot of money for the city, but at the same time, you got to do it right. All right. Have a good night. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Nimmons. Have a good night. And that's how it's done. There's your short right there. There's your little clip right there, DLZ clips. There's your little short. I said goodbye. He hung up before I could say, I said, okay, have a good night. And then he, he hung up. South Arkansas weather is in the room. What's going on, playboy? I want her name and her number because I will help her file a federal civil rights lawsuit. I say, I'm going to sue you all the time, but just for the lawyers who go against me, it's just a figure of speech because I am the catalyst to get it done. And I do get things done. If this woman contacts me and she's willing to fight, I will help her. Get her federal civil rights lawsuit filed. That doesn't mean that I'm going to do it because I can't. I'm not an Arkansas lawyer. That means I'll get the money. I'll pay for the filing. I'll have I'll set up the attorney. I'll set up the legal writers. I'll do the whole thing for her. So I'm just being 100% plain as day with this. I just want to be 100% transparent. So DLZ Clips down there crushing it once again sent me more information Oh, gosh, there's a mugshot of her online. Oh, my God, dude, this is terrible. Wow, inmate details. They put her online. Oh, that's the Hampton, South Arkansas Police Department. Oh, my God. Wow. So this says right here of a subject. Look what they call her. They call her a subject. Oh, so here's the car wash. It's on North Lee Street. Somebody find me that car wash. Let's call that owner. Let's call him right now. I'm going to call him. Don't call him. I'm going to do the phone call. Let me do the phone call so I don't get in trouble on YouTube. You guys, let me do the phone call. On July 14th, 2023, at approximately 10 p.m., Pig Davis was informed of a subject sitting in her car on Lee Street. Find that car wash for me. He was informed that the vehicle had been there a couple hours, so she's taking a break. Pig Davis made contact with the driver who was identified as Casey Morgan Smith from Kansas. Yeah! Let me copy this real quick and let me send this over to my skip tracer. I have a skip tracer on the team who can look up anybody's information. While officer, while Pig Davis was speaking to Mr. Smith, he, de he determined that she was possibly under the influence of some kind of narcotic, but that's not what he said to dispatch. 
off pig Davis placed Smith under arrest for the violation upon inventory search of a vehicle. A bag of methamphetamines was located in her purse. Smith was charged with possessions of meth under two grams. Smith was transported to Calhoun County jail where she had her first appearance and was released. Officer Davis used his knowledge and training in the incident to make the arrest. Wow. Wow. Look what they do to people. Look what they do to people. Wow. Good job, Officer Davis. So this is the Hampton, Arkansas Police Department page, huh? 2,200 followers. Wow. <laughs> Hampton Police Department with Chief Jones and Officer Dakota Davis. Oh, his name's Dakota Davis. Dakota Davis. Let's find his Facebook page. Here's what the guy looks like, just so you know. That's what his Facebook page looks like. If someone can find the link for this guy, that would be great. And there's Dakota Davis. And then he's a patrolman at Hampton, Arkansas Police Department, former patrol sergeant at Camden Police Department. I wonder what happened there. We can do the same thing for his records in Camden. And then from Ruston, Louisiana, in a relationship with Elizabeth Akins, Akines. So we can definitely uh, start to reach out to him and redress him in a public forum, which there's nothing wrong with that. This is this is the pig that arrested. Look, look at this guy. He's so happy to cuddle in bed with his chick, but a woman can't sit in a car wash. She wasn't hurting anybody. But look at look at Dakota Davis. He 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 thinks he can just do whatever he wants and nobody's going to say anything to him. Well, let me tell you something, Dakota. If I was a little if I was a little bit younger and I could get a hold of you, I'd wrestle a pig. But unfortunately, unfortunately for you, I'm too old now to take on every pig. Had you caught me in my 30s, son, I'd spank you like a little bitch. That's a fact. Okay, cool. So here's the incident report by Dakota Davis. Let me see what you guys can see, and I'll open it big if you guys can't see it. So this is exception, uh, Dakota Davis, page one of three. Possession of meth or cocaine, less than 10 grams. She's charged with a felony. She's charged with a felony. And then down here, government. Her name is Casey Morgan Smith. Okay, they masked her social security number. She's 425. She's 35 years old. Let's skip that information there. Arrested 715 at 441 a.m. So she's not allowed to sit there. Okay, so here's what we're looking for. I, Pig Davis, Pig Dakota Davis, with the Hampton Police Department, was advised by a civilian of a white female in a blue Mazda car on the car wash on North Lee Street near Main Street. Find this car wash, North Lee Street near Main Street, who was acting strange and talking to herself. You know who, who know acts strange and talk to themselves? Me. I do it all the time. I was at the car wash for a welfare check, but that's not why he went there. Upon my arrival, I observed the blue Mazda car bearing Missouri plate. I made contact with the driver of the vehicle who was identified as Casey Morgan Smith. While she was speaking and looking at me, I observed her eyes be glazed over and watery. What a lie. That's not what he said at all. I observed her speech was slurred and inconsistent. Her speech was not slurred. I then asked her if she was under the influence of any type of narcotics. She stated she wasn't. However, she got defensive and started fumbling with her center console. I then asked her if she would complete some standardized field sobriety tests. Smith refused any tests. She got out of the car and was being paranoid. You mean because there's a pig there? About every move I made. Of course, because she's a because you're a pig, dude. She asked if she could leave. I advised her no due to it being a lawful detainment. It was unlawful. She did nothing wrong. She broke no laws. You're just suspicious of anybody. She then started to say she could leave and started to walk back to her car. I grabbed her arm, and this time I placed her in torture cuffs. At the time, she was not under arrest. I then tried to get her to agree to test once again. However, she became irritated and got loud. Oh, God. 
She was then placed under arrest upon search of Smith's immediate area where she was sitting in the car. I located a small baggie containing 0.7 grams of crystal-like substance containing consistent to be meth in the center console. Smith's vehicle was turned over to action towing. Smith was transported to Calhoun Sheriff's Department office to await first appearance. The meth was logged as evidence photos were taken. So just so you guys know, this is this is 100 percent um, fruit of the poisonous tree. He had no right to search a car. He had no probable cause. He had there was no reasonable suspicion other than someone said she was sitting in a parking lot. That's not illegal. So, Casey, if you see this, you have a smack dab federal civil rights lawsuit and you should allow me to help you the best I can with an attorney in Arkansas to file your federal civil rights lawsuit.